So I just learned something awful, not good, very bad news from my mom because she keeps up on these sorts of things and knows what's important to me really. And that thing is called my hairstylist that I love so very much, like the literal best hairstylist I've ever had ever. My mom goes to her, she goes to her every two weeks. It's amazing. Anyway, she's leaving the neighborhood because she lives here in the neighborhood and she's been doing hair in this beautiful building that she built on her property, a studio, amazing. She's leaving, she's going back downtown, uptown, town town, and gonna start teaching. And so I no longer have my hairstylist here. And that's really rough for me because it's gonna make it even harder for me to go get my hair cut. Because the last time I got my hair done was November 11th. And I know that because that's my anniversary and I had it done like 30 minutes before I had to go meet the mister for a date for her anniversary. And it's been so long that I have natural hair color again, really. And so she moves out of the neighborhood. I have another excuse to not go get my hair done. So I'm just gonna become a person with long hair all the way down to my ankles. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's happening. It has nothing to do with what we're making today, like at all, not even remotely. But my mom just told me this information and I'm very sad and I'm probably gonna go have to get my hair cut right away before she leaves. So it'll get me through another year. I will tell you what we are doing and it's cool. So I hope you stuck with me through that in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 345 of 365 days of soap. We're almost done, and today we are making the bath bombs to go with the epoxy pour slash geo type soap things that we made, you know, a couple days ago. And the reason for that is because I want to. Really. Yeah, that was it. That was That's the whole reason. Because obviously for every month, I theme things out and I like the soaps and the bombs to sort of match. And so the limited stuff that comes out every month on the website, you know, it has a theme. And I didn't know whether I was going to be calling the soaps like epoxy pour-esque soaps, weird name, or geode soaps. And I ultimately decided that I was going to call them crystal soaps and they're going to be part of a crystal collection named after cool crystals, therapeutic crystals. You get it? And the reason I decided that is because I have an idea in mind for October's subscription box, which is very occult in nature and will have a lot of healing, grounding elements to it, as well as some witchy vibes because October, and it's a very cool box that I've been planning for months. And I wanted to sort of give the fall bath bombs that are not part of the subscription box some of that same treatment, if only just to test it out with both the sudzers, but also, you know, the making and seeing how feasible it is. So that's what we're doing. We are making crystal bath bombs today to go with all of the crystal soaps. So let's get to the video and we can talk all about the stones that I chose and all the things, you know, there. I am so excited for these bath bombs. You have no idea. I'm just over the moon. Cuckoo Bananas excited. Look at the upper left-hand corner of this. Also, do not look at the lower left-hand corner of this, otherwise you're going to focus all of your energy on trying to figure out 
what is moving and being strange to the right or the left rather of that white bowl. Anyway, we're making bath bombs today. And not just any kind of bath bombs. We are making crystal bath bombs, wherein I am putting crystals into bath bombs. I'm doing that. It's going to be a fun time. Probably. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I've actually changed my ratios for this uh, quite a bit, actually. My baking soda to citric acid, as well as uh, no cornstarch. I'm playing with arrowroot powder for this guy. And uh, big, big tablespoons of the scent, the water, the oil, still sunflower oil. And I think that's it. Yeah, for these. Gonna be a good time. So first up, I am doing the the amethyst crystal, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. So I'm putting lavender buds into it, and it is scented with the sea salt and orchid, which is what I used for the brown soap with the purple running through the middle up there, upper left-hand corner, the one that's on the upper right. It's all confusing. But yeah, it, it matches that bar is is the point and i'm putting an actual freaking amethyst in it along with lav lavender buds now i actually had this idea to do this for a very real reason and that reason is called uh cheebs chilbo that i made the bag end soaps for you know back at the beginning of the year she's going through something and she also mentioned on her on a stream that she lost the lip balm that I'd sent to her during her move. One of the things she's going through. And immediately I realized that I needed to send her a new care package. And so I thought, yes, I'm going to do that. But I had already made the soaps and she was, you know, weighing heavy on my mind. And I decided the soaps kind of look like crystals, right? And I've been talking about crystals in these two videos about the soaps. So why not lean into that and actually make it like a crystal line, you know? And so that's what I decided to do. And so I picked four stones that have some, you know, metaphysical properties to them and am effectively going to focus this entire line around said stones and metaphysical properties. Now, as far as whether or not you believe whether these stones do that, I don't care. That's not the important part here. I have said time and time and time again, it works if you believe in it. And that's true of all things, of the, the curative nature of essential oils, of the healing power of crystals and stones, of God. It works if you believe in it. And if you don't, well, it's not hurting you, but it exists as well. So this is what we're doing. And the amethyst is actually one of my favorite stones ever. And even though it's not my birthstone, it's, I, I, I say that it is because I like it more than I like my birthstone, but it's very good. It's very protective for sure. And it reduces stress and it helps with anger and mood swings and metabolism, which is also fun. And isn't that fun? That's freaking gorgeous. Oh my God, look at that. And it also, you know, it, it cleanses your emotional pain and it helps you focus and center. And I like that. I like all of those things. And so again, this all kind of came from because Cheebs was going through a thing and I wanted to send her a care package, but also why not lean into this and you know, if somebody needs something rather specific in their life or whatever, they can choose a very specific, thoughtfully curated and produced while, you know, having the intentions in mind while I'm making them, you know, package. And also it's just really pretty stones too. Isn't that fun? Yeah those, the, those, those crystals hanging out all up in my bath bombs. It's a lot of fun. I don't actually know if these are going to stay or if they're going to fall out. My money is on. They're going to stay 
just because I know what bath bomb powder does as it dries. And that thing is called, it shrinks. So it's going to shrink around the crystals is my thinking. And it will, you know, keep them in place very beautifully. I'm thinking we're going to find out, honestly, this is just the trial run to see if this is even possible, but like so far, so good. Look how beautiful that all is. We have the lavender on both sides, the crystal on one side, super gorgeous. I love that. And we also have three other stones that I selected for this one because of color, obviously, right? Because I've already made the soaps, but two, not only color, but they're, you know, curative properties and whatnot. And so the next one that I'm doing, I think is quartz and uh, quartz is a very cool stone, like for sure. Yeah, it's quartz and quartz is super cool because it's known as the universal crystal, right? Because it has so many different uses and properties. It's pretty awesome. Like it balances, it, it does that balancing thing, stabilizes, harmonizes. It, it's good for romantic relationships. It helps with healing energy just in general, just in general. Also helps out with very certain and specific ailments like diabetes and stuff. Oh, that side of it. So pretty, so pretty. Let me see the other side. Can you show me? Hi, can I see it? Oh, come on. That's gorgeous. Oh my God. I'm in love with these, but also it's good for energy, both mental and physical and strength. It's just a very well-rounded stone, which actually makes sense because like amethyst, for example, is just another type of quartz. It's kind of like all of the different clays, right? You've got your kaolin and then you've got your pink Brazilian. And your pink. It's all just still kaolin plus some other stuff. So kaolin is still, you know, the best. That's why I put it in all my soaps. That's quartz. It's the best. And this guy is scented with the tobacco vanilla, I believe, paired with the, wait, no, what did I put in there? No, I feel like that's right. Paired with the black bar, I think. I don't know. We'll find out at the end of the video, I'm sure. But that's the quartz one. And it's so pretty. I can't even with this. I'm not kidding. But I mean, yeah, obviously one of the first reasons I selected quartz was because it was pairing with the black bar with the clear, you know, center. And that's cool. But also we're building a theme here. And, and so if we're looking at the universal healer and all the things, right, that's, it's quartz. It's beautiful. And also it just looks stunning mixed with the lavender and the rose petals. I mean, come on, it's a slam dunk. I, whatever. Hey, you know what? They're not your bath bombs or my bath bombs. And I think they're freaking gorgeous. And I can't wait to see what the sudsers do with them. Cause I think they're going to love them. And yeah, I love that. And that's kind of all that matters. Okay, and next up on the list is the tiger's eye, and that will be paired with the yellow and green and orange bar up there in the upper left, the upper of the upper left, really. And yeah, tiger's eye, it's awesome. It's the eye of the tiger, the thrill of the fight. It's courageous, self-confidence, strength in yourself, like liking yourself and finding your true strength within inner strength that that's the word. Yeah. And the tiger's eye, it goes back a long time, just like all of these crystals really, and all of their metaphysical properties. And they used to like put these on the breastplates of soldiers, warriors in, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember where, but somewhere. And just the tiger's eye itself is supposed to embody everything that the tiger is. She is strong. She is courageous. She is ready to pounce, which sounds kind of sexy. But yeah, I really, obviously, again, going to colors first, sure. But as I said earlier, I'm actually kind of doing this as a test run for the October 
subscription boxes because I have a very cool idea for it. I'm super, super excited about it, but I also wanted to do a test run to see how these would even play out. Oh God, tell me that's not beautiful. Look at all the little striations, all the facet. I love this. It's so beautiful. But I wanted to do a test run on this with the fall line to see how they would you really go down with the sudsers. And I have a feeling these are gonna go down like gangbusters, even though it seems a little bit strange, you know, to have a stone, a crystal in your bath bomb. But honestly, if you think about it, it's not that freaking strange at all, is it? Because people love surprise bombs. The, the surprise bombs that have all the Pokemon and everything in them, I can't keep those in stock. It's impossible. Uh, I've had multiple people ask me to put rings and crap in bath bombs. And I actually, I have put rings and crap in bath bombs for, you know, like bridal showers and stuff. It's all a thing. So this is actually a cool, useful thing. And you can take the stone and, you know, just make it part of your existing stone collection or wrap it in some wire and, and make some jewelry out of it. I mean, I don't know. I think it's fun. It's going to be a good time. But the tiger's eye specifically, I thought was very cool when I, while I could have done other like orangey brown stones, I, I'm thinking topaz. Like that's the thing that's coming to mind immediately. Might be topaz. But it's not nearly as cool as tiger's eye. A, because the name is way cooler. Tiger's eye, topaz, you get it. But two, just the healing properties and all the restorative properties that tiger, tiger's eye even has. Also, good for energy. Um, balances out hormones. Again, it's kind of sexy, sexy in the going to be courageous and going to do things, but also ready to pounce. I love that. It's a good time. And also it's supposed to, again, it's supposed to clear the negative energy and help out with feelings of self-worth. But you know, all, all crystals do that. All crystals are meant to ground you and help you love yourself first. So ultimately it kind of doesn't matter which crystal you get. I mean, I'm sure there are some rogue crystals. So by me saying all, there's going to be some moron in chat that's like, actually, Kato, you're wrong. This crystal's bad for you. So apologies. I didn't mean all, but a lot of them. Okay, now on to the final reveal, as well as the fourth uh, bath bomb, which I didn't film because I didn't. But also for the Discord Sudzers, um, I posted a, a thing and said I was wearing my buffalo print pajamas, my onesie, on, 90, on a 90 degree weather day to will fall into existence. And you guys all said you wanted proof and I didn't take a picture but I was editing this footage and yeah, I was wearing it while doing this. So there you go. There's your proof. I, I wore my onesie in the middle of summer to make it fall. It didn't work. It, it did not work. It's still unbearably hot, but these bombs, they super worked. None of these stones have fallen out. None of them. They're all absolutely stunning. I'm absolutely in love with this. And the wheels are just turning with all of this. I legit want to just make this my whole line for a while. I am obsessed. They're simple and beautiful and smell divine. Everything is great about them. And the final one is the turquoise that, that I didn't film. Turquoise has a very special meaning in my life. I'm like, oh, how pretty is that? That obviously matches with the first soap that I made in the geode crystal line. Yes. But turquoise is a really incredible stone in that it is good at kind of all the things. It dispels negative energy and it protects against, you know, nasty people and nasty things. And I love that. It's good for depression and exhaustion and all of the things, really. And look how big and honking that thing is. That was the only one that I was legitimately concerned about putting into the bath bomb just because it was so big and so smooth that I was concerned it was not going to actually that the bath bomb powder wasn't going to adhere around it. Just looking at these all 
in perspective, that's a big stone there. It's a lot for sure. But yeah, the last one had to be turquoise because we did, you know, the white bar with the blue green in the middle and looking at them all together, I think I actually need to go blue greenier with it. But I think I said that when I was making that soap anyway, that we should go with like, I don't know, maybe a blue tide or a peacock or a Tahitian teal for the one that gets paired with the turquoise. I'm going to have to do that now for sure, because it needs a bluer color in the middle, really. But for the rest of these, absolutely stunning. This is such a cool like line that's being developed right there. And I see all sorts of things. I see lotions. I see gorgeously colored and botanical, you know, bath salts and probably a rollerball if I'm feeling fancy and I'm always feeling fancy, but yeah. Those are the crystal bath bombs and they're absolutely awesome. And there they are, four of the cutest bath bombs ever. I am completely in love with this and I don't know, I am like really, things in the soap world and my personality, we both kind of meld together a lot. And you know, sometimes I do really fun themes like Grey's Anatomy and Magicians, things that I like personally. And then other things like this, it makes me want to change my entire business perspective to that for a while. So I'm thinking nothing but wood grain soaps, crystal themed bars and bombs and uh, bath salts and look, I mean, all the things. And I'm just like in this connecting to, it's beautiful. Those are beautiful. I want those. Like I would, I would buy those is the thing. So I love them for sure. If you are interested in them, they're going to be on the website real soon. They might already be up there. Go check soapandclay.com. I probably posted something about it on Instagram if they are there. So I don't know. But yeah, they're gorgeous. I, I love everything about them. Really cool gift sets are being planned around this. And again, this was a test run for my October subscription boxes. And since it went so well, I'm so, so excited for what we're going to do for the October subscription box line which is only available for subscription. So you can get these now. Anyway, I hope you had fun today. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did for sure. This is definitely a different take on a geode or a crystal bath bomb and I'm here for it. Absolutely. And I appreciate you guys for being here for it as well. Big thank you to my subsers, the ones that are subscribed, the ones that are members, the ones that exist and buy the soapy things and whatever. My people, my family, my community. Thank you. You're amazing. I'm out of here for two day, but I will see all of you again tomorrow for another round of soapy fun. Bye.